My favorite Last Gang album of the past 10 years is probably uh, Crystal Castle's second album. Uh, to me that's the most important because it's really dark and weird and it's just kind of breaking the stereotypes of Canadian music, um, both pop and underground. Um, just shows that artists can put out an album in Canada that aren't just folk music or whatever people have come to expect from Canadian artists. And uh, that definitely inspired me to do something different as well with Last Gang. In May 2004, I was finishing grade eight and I had my first girlfriend and I was playing a lot of Billy Talent on guitar every day and not doing my homework. I signed with Last Gang because they gave me a lot of trust, both my album and me as an artist. Um, they didn't interfere in any part of the process or force me to do anything that I wanted to. It's completely up to me, um, which is kind of crazy for doing an album with a, a big label. So um, once I saw that and saw the opportunities and their enthusiasm, uh, it completely made sense. And also once I saw the Drake posters that they had on the walls, it had to be done. 